Hi, my name is Frank Marroquin of LSX Performance out of Edinburgh, Texas. And today I'll be showing you how to tune a 4060E's, 4065E, 4080E um, using HP tuners. Today's vehicle will be a 2003 Chevrolet Silverado 5.3 with the 4060E. Um, this is a daily driver vehicle, so we will be doing a pretty basic conservative tune on it. We can start by saving. Of course, we're going to do the read on the vehicle, and then we'll save it. Once you have it read, it'll look pretty similar to this. You'll hit File, Save As. You'll want to save it as stock or original, you know, whatever, whatever you remember. Um, and then you would want to save it again as, again, Save As. And uh, just put a different name to it. So you can have your original file. If you ever need to go back to it, you have it there. Okay, ne next you'll want to take notation of the size of your rear tire and the gear you have. If it's been changed or, you know, whether you're still on the stock gear. So you'll come here, hit your tool tab, unit conversion, and you'll input your tire height here. Once you input it, you'll get a calculation right here on your tire height. That calculation, you're going to move it over here to the edit and gear tire wizard. You would input it here. If you have the same gear ratio and haven't changed gears, you would just move this over. So 373. For this example, nothing was changed, so I'm not going to touch it. You would hit adjust. You would then see, uh, come down to your transmission tab. And under shift scheduling, you would see these pink if, it, if you made changes. Uh, it's just calibrating it to the tire. So um, from there, what I would do is I would hit save as, you know, and it'll come back to blue. Because when they're pink is when you know that they've been altered or modified. Okay, we can begin. So there is several methods to tuning. Um, you can, if it's, if it's a race you know, purpose or build transmission, um, you can, or most people do zero all the torque management out. Um, you know, probably not a practice you want to do, but it can be done. Um, I, I know I've seen several tuners do that in the past. Uh, for for this for this uh, daily driver, we are going to keep uh, the, the torque management and we are going to be uh, just cutting it by 50%. So to do that, I mean, and for, for other vehicles, you can always do less. You could do more. It's just to your to your suit. OK, let's begin. So torque reduction would hit the normal tab. Since I'm going to be cutting it in half, so 50 percent, I would highlight this. Highlight it, click this table, or highlight the whole thing, hit 0.5, which is 50 percent and multiply it will divide it in half. And same for the performance tab. If you have an F body, you do not have to move this. The performance tab is just for the trucks and SUVs. That's the tow haul button. So same by half, by 50%, it'll cut it in half. All the abuse mode general, those don't need to be touched. From here, we can jump over to the shift pressures. You want to, under general, max pressure, you'll want to set this to 96 because that is your max 0 to 96 PSI. You'll jump over to upshift under general, the normal tap. This, again, it varies. You can go up 2 PSI. You can go up 20 PSI. You can go up 30 PSI, just depending on your vehicle. You know, if you have a high miles um, stock truck, you you probably don't want to go too high but if you have a race built you know or purposed vehicle of course you can go up you might want to speak with your builder there for this for this vehicle i'm going to go up 12 psi so i'd highlight it and we're going to add the 12 psi if you get this this notification of the parameter out of range you can hit do not prompt and you want to hit no so you're going to stop at 96 instead of going you know, out of the range. Same for the performance. You're going to highlight 12 or whatever you decide. Add it up. 
do not prompt again and no and they stop again 96 you don't want to move the pressure modifiers downshift you don't need to move anything there either let's jump over to the shift tab here you got of course the normal and the performance let's start in the normal some vehicles are going to have like here on third to fourth is zeroed out you you're not going to want to touch that one but there are others that are going to have inputted numbers here you know if that's the case you're going to want to modify all of them but since this one's the fourth third or fourth are zeroed we're going to just want to do first or second and second or third so here we're going to put 0.275 and from 280 beyond we're going to put two 0.225 From 0 to 280, we're going to do interpolate between horizontal bounds. Over here for performance, again, it's zeroed out, third or fourth, so we're only going to focus first to second and second to third. We're going to highlight the two rows and going to hit 0.225. So we're done with torque management, shift pressure, shift timing. We're going to jump over to shift scheduling. And again, it's it's pretty much the same for the 4060s, 4065, and the 4080s. Yeah, it, there's going to be real little bit difference. The full throttle shift RPM. This, again, it goes down to preference. But for this vehicle, we'll put it at 5,900 first and second. Second and third, we'll hit 5,800. And third and fourth, we'll put 5,700. Sorry. We can highlight the table, copy. And down in performance, we can paste. We can jump over here to the normal. On part throttle shift, we're going to highlight from 6 to 62. And we're going to want to add that by two. Notice how it goes 11, 9, 12 on second to first. We're going to want to raise this up two as well to, to match up. You don't have to move um, anything else. You can get it to be a little more aggressive um, for you know, more uh, race oriented driving, but um, I'll make that in another video. It would just, it's a matter of raising a couple of tables. There's also an option of making the tow haul button into a performance button pretty much for roll racing to where uh, it'll drop the gear to the appropriate gear as opposed to flooring it waiting for it to downshift and go but again i'll make that in another video or if you have any questions you can shoot me an, um, a comment or um, my email is on my account picture okay so we're done here now we can jump over to torque converter tab since we have a stock torque converter on this vehicle we do not need to touch any of this on this table on this tab, we jump over to apply and release under normal. We're going to open it up. So this will help you with your your launching, your uh, part throttle driving. It'll, it'll give a uh, better driving. So for third gear, you're going to want to hit input 256 on the row on third apply. And then from on fourth apply from 56% up to 100, also input 256. On fourth apply from 0 to 50, we can put 55. So we, it's not going to lock up anything under that. On third release, we'll hit 254. On fourth release from 56% to 100, we're going to input 254 on fourth release from zero percent throttle to 50 percent throttle we're going to input 53 and if you have bucking i mean on a stock motor you're not 
But if for an aftermarket cam with stock stall, if you have some bucking or anything like that, you're going to want to, of course, it'd be best to have an aftermarket stall. If you don't, you can just raise these mile per hour a bit, say raise them about three miles per hour up, both apply and release, and you'll get that bucking out of the way. You can copy and paste it over to performance as well. And there you have it. Um, that's the tuning for a 4060E for a bolt-on or stock vehicle. Um, and yeah, uh, if any questions um, on ranges or anything like that, go ahead and again, shoot me a comment or or a message and I'll help you out with whatever I can. Hopefully I'll be making some more videos soon uh, to explain any more in detail things you may need. Thank y'all. Have a good day.